the Galactic Empire, despite its scale resources and iron grip upon the galaxy far, far away, was rather clueless when it came to tracking down the headquarters of its bitter enemy. Or so it would seem. In reality, Imperial agents were constantly on the hunt for alarming activity, especially in the years following the Battle of Yavin. But which planets in particular arose the most suspicion? And how exactly did the Empire come to pinpoint the secret rebel base? Well, let's find out. When it came to establishing a headquarters or base of operations, the Rebel Alliance chose to avoid heavily populated worlds such as Garel and Gorman. In fact, it purposefully favoured unsettled and uninhabited planets so to minimise collateral damage during dangerous raids. The struggling, desperate movement also avoided law enforcement patrols by exploiting old smuggler routes. Because of this, Imperial Intelligence and the ISB routinely chopped, sifted and reconstituted reports of suspicious activity, which were then reverse mapped to population studies on a quarterly basis. By doing so, the Empire zeroed in on cases that clustered on sparsely settled areas of the galaxy. They were then further probability studied by AI predictors, before Imperial probe droids were dispatched to prioritise space lanes for further analysis. The Galactic Empire came to suspect eight planets as potentially being home to the Rebel base as a result. Unsurprisingly, many were located in the Outer Rim territories, the likes of Aluyan, Dantooine, Picutorion and Akuria. As for the others, well, Ithor and Farsley were both situated in the mid-rim, whilst Lochteen and Dankyo versed closer to the core worlds. Of course, none of the aforementioned planets were actually home to the headquarters of the Rebel Alliance, although it is rather interesting that Dantooine made the list, given its status as the faction's former home. In any event, I hope you've all learned something new from today's video. If so, make sure to smash that like button. Also, to help out the channel that little bit extra, please do consider pledging to our Patreon page, and for all things inside Star Wars, press that subscribe button and notification bell. Thanks for watching.